Welcome everyone to the English lesson, The Idol and the Whale. We have finished the lesson in the last class and let's go on to the exercises on page 42. Page 42. A. Write T for the true statements and F for the false statements. 1. The idol was 87 feet high and 67 feet round. False. 2. The idol sits in a beautiful temple even today. False. It's in the forest. 3. The shark was the biggest creature in the sea. False. 4. The whale was the biggest creature in the sea. True. 5. A tortoise told the whale that the idol was bigger than the whale. False. 6. The whale became jealous of the idol. True. 7. A rat set off to find out the size of the idol. True. 8. The idol came out of the temple to see the whale. True. 9. The priest fainted. True. 10. The idol was unhappy to hear that he was smaller than the whale. False. Next one. Fill the blanks with the right words. Try not to look back at the lesson. 1. Among the trees of Kamakura, there sits a great bronze idol of a forgotten god. 2. One day, some fishermen were gossiping about the big statue in Kamakura. 3. A little busybody of a fish heard this and went and told the whale. 4. At first, the whale roared with laughter. He laughed so much that he made several tidal waves. 5. An elderly shark came up to the whale to find out what the matter was. The whale poured out his fears to the shark. 6. A sleeping temple priest woke up and came to see who was talking. He found the idol's pedestal empty and came running out. 7. The priest finished measuring and found that the whale was taller than the idol by 2 inches. Now coming to the questions, C, answer the following questions. Kamakura was a great capital in the Middle Ages. What sort of life did it, the idol lead then? What was changed now? The idol was the biggest and many people came to see it. But now it was in the forest. Previously it was in a temple but now the idol was in a forest. 2. Why did the whale brood and sulk? Now the whale brooded and sulked because he thought the idol was much bigger than him. 3. Who helped the whale find out if the rumours were true? The rat helped the whale to find out if the rumours were true. 4. Why did the rat tremble with fear? Now the rat trembled with fear because he had never seen such a big idol in his lifetime. 5. What did the whale do when he heard the news? Now, when he heard the news, the whale wanted to, you know, check it out for himself. And he went to see where the idol was and how the idol looked. 6. Who measured the idol and the whale at the temple? Who was bigger? The priest, he was the one who measured the idol and the whale. And the whale was bigger. Sixth one. Why do you think it didn't matter to the idol to be smaller than the whale by two inches? It did not matter to the idol at all because he knew and on land he was the biggest uh, creature or the biggest uh, thing that was there and many pilgrims were coming to visit him. So it was not a case of worry for the idol at all. Vocabulary. Match the words with their meanings. 1. Stiff not easily bent. 2. Favorite, most liked. 3. Cave, hollow place in a rock or hill. 4. Close, near. 5. Stripe, is long, narrow band. Now listening and speaking. Discuss in pairs the reasons why it is not possible to live on the moon. Now, it is not possible to live on the moon because there is no air and water. And these two things are there on earth 
and that is why we are able to live on earth. Now coming to language and grammar, it is comparative and superlative adjectives like big, bigger, biggest, happy, happier, happiest, small, smaller, smallest. Here are three animals from the story. Let us compare their sizes. Answer the, these questions. Rat, shark, whale. Who is bigger, the shark or the whale? So here it is the whale. Here we are comparing two things by using the adjective bigger. The comparative form of an adjective is used to compare two people or things. For example, Mahesh is taller than Yash. Two, which animal is the biggest of the three? So the biggest of the three is the whale. When we compare three or more things, we use biggest. That is the superlative degree. The superlative form of an adjective is used to compare one person or thing with other members of the groups. For example, Rakesh is the tallest boy in the class. Third one, which animal is the smallest? The rat is the smallest. Four, which animal is smaller, the rat or the shark? The shark is smaller than the whale and the rat is the smallest. From these questions and their answers, you can see that adjectives such as bigger, biggest, smaller and smallest help us to compare things. Read the following. Strong, stronger, strongest. Glad, gladder, gladdest. Heavy, heavier, heaviest. Far, farther, farthest. Mad, madder, maddest. Late, later, latest. Some Comparative adjectives take more and most before them. Beautiful, more beautiful, most beautiful. Powerful, more powerful, most powerful. Comfortable, more comfortable, most comfortable. Reliable, more reliable, most reliable. Miserable, more miserable, most miserable. Exercise on page 45. Fill in the blanks with the right form of the adjective given in brackets. 1. Elephants are heavier than cows. 2. My mother is taller than me. 3. Rajasthan is the biggest state in India. 4. River Nile is the longest river in the world. 5. A dolphin is more intelligent than a shark. 6. Rohan is the richest man in town. 7. The smallest island in India is Lakshadweep. 8. The sea is larger than a lake. 9. The class, that class is the noisiest class in the school. 10. The peacock is the most beautiful bird in the world. With this, I stop here for today. Your homework will be to do A, B and C in the notebook and send to the school WhatsApp number and also complete page 45 in the textbook itself. Thank you.